Every time I run into you for the rest of our lives, I'll ask you to make a game with me. Now, this is the most beautiful love confession and the best way to end this story. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel Zavine as the blurb reads is not romance, but this book is about love. This book has been my second pick for Penguin India's Fiction Addiction Read Along. I wanted to know if the hype was real and in my opinion, this book ought to be hyped. It is a beautiful work of art that's woven together by human emotions. It is after a long time that a book tugged at the strings of my heart and left me misty-eyed. My initial hesitation soon evaporated when I read the words Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Road Rash, Mario, Duck Hunt because growing up that's how it was for me and every 90s kid will resonate with the gaming vibes of this book. But this book isn't just about gamers and making games, it is about love, loss, friendship, grief and life. Every bump and downfall in the lives of the characters becomes your own. These characters become your own Sam, Sari, Marks. And you hate a character like Dove, you adore characters like Ant and Simon. And you wouldn't question a single sequence in the narrative while reading it because you're so thoroughly invested in it. Upon finishing the book, your heart might pain for Sam because that character is the most misunderstood character in this narrative and it hurts to see him hurt. Well, I can just go on and on about this character, but truly, he is a husband material. They don't make men like him anymore. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, that's what Shakespeare said too, right? But this isn't a tale told by an idiot and signifying nothing. In fact, this book will hold a lot of significance in your life once you're done reading it. For me, it was hands down one of the most memorable books of 2023.